Hello. Can you hear me? Okay, let's get started. Niigata Tourism Online Event Exploring Niigata with Chiji. Uh, hey guys, I'm Ken from Japan. Now I'm living and working in Singapore to promote Niigata Tourism. We are going to host three online events from Niigata Japan titled Exploring Niigata Online with Chiji. It's the first event today. I'd like to introduce Tsubame Sanjo and Yahiko Village in this event. This event uh, will be held on for around 45 minutes since now. Uh, I'd like to say my apologies in advance. If something wrong happened about the network, please wait for a while until we come back. At the end of the uh, event, we have special gift from Tsubame Sanjo. We will give you a keyword to apply the giveaway. So please stay tuned with us. Today, we are going to broadcast live from Yahiko Village. Yahiko Village is very popular for its awesome, beautiful autumn leaves. And I want to tell you, we have special guest for this event. She is one of most popular influencers who introduced Japan tourism from Singapore, Miss Chiji. Today, Miss Chiji and Miss Kaori from Tsubame City are, are in Yahiko Park. So now let's call them. Hello. Hi, Kaori san, Chiji san. How are you? My broadcast is right here in Niigata Prefecture, Yahiko oh. Park. Yes. Yay! Yay! Yay. And I and work for Tsubami City Office Tourism Promotion Division. And thank you for joining our live streaming today. Now, from now, we will introduce awesome new and unknown Niigata where you can enjoy and visit after the situation is calmed down. And today we have very special guest who will enjoy with us, Chiji san. Hello. Chiji -san. Oh, thank you. Hi, Kokua san. Thank you for joining us today at Yahiko. I'm right here broadcasting my first ever live uh, tour in Niigata Prefecture. And uh, most of you might have known me from my social media, uh, Instagram account at Chizerland. And if you don't know me, I'm a blogger and also um, I run social media account on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I love Japan a lot. And right now, um, to repeat again, we are mm -hmm. at Niigata Prefecture, Yahiko Village, Yahiko Park, mm -hmm. uh, Momiji Valley. Valley. Yeah. Uh, it literally means Maple yeah. Valley. As you could see, we are standing mm -hmm. right under mm -hmm. beautiful Maple Valley. So beautiful. It's yeah. just a mm. perfect season mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Kaori san, Chiji san, uh, let us show the beautiful autumn leaves, please. Okay, okay. so yeah, we're gonna bring you guys to walk around this mm -hmm. park because it's really beautiful. We were here last night, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, at, yeah. at night time, they actually had a light up, mm -hmm. so it's super beautifully illuminated mm -hmm. but um unfortunately it's raining a little but it yeah. doesn't spoil the mood mm -hmm. it's still super beautiful so yeah. we're gonna bring you around right now okay let's go, yeah, let's go <laughs> look at how it's um i think it's just the right season right now mm -hmm. um the maples are turning just turning red, so you could still see orange and yellow around you. Oh. Oh. So beautiful. So, Kaori san, there is a super recommended spot that you would like to bring me. Yeah, uh, now we are at Kangetsuyo uh, Kang 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 Bridge. Kang yes. Bridge. Yes. Yeah. It literally means mm. watch, moon, watch, moon, watch moon, moon Bridge. Moon. Mm. So the moon yeah, 
So I heard that there's oh last night I remember we were drunk to the river. So yeah, let's go. yeah, yeah. So it's a weekday today, Saturday. So there are actually a lot of um, travelers all around Japan coming here, <laughs> and we are broadcasting. Oh, oh, this is a super beautiful. Oh. <laughs> beautiful. Insogenic button right here. It's yeah, you want to take picture, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> already. Already taken a photo. Yeah, you can take a picture now. <laughs> I have a yeah. mommy's umbrella. Oh. <laughs> Free mommy's so, so mommy's in Japan means like holy. So remember, mommy's everything, anything that uh. That is Momiji means maple. So Momiji Valley, Momiji, Momiji Tani means maple valley. Maple yeah. valley. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's go on to the riverside. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to not like hit people with my umbrella right now. <laughs> the bridge is kind of narrow and um, there are a lot of people right here. So I'm trying to be careful. Social distance. <laughs> Social distance. Social distance. Oh, it's literally Bari. Oh, oh so you can go downstairs. Yeah, let's go down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is my second time to Yahiko Village. And the first time I was here was actually last year, uh, September. And mm -hmm. I have to tell you that this morning I woke up 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. to go to Yahiko Shai yeah. mm -hmm. to see Oniku Shai. Yeah. It's a very mm -hmm. special uh, ritual where they um, perform a ritual to the gods in the morning. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of rare, like not every time you get to see this and i had the honor to go visit and mm. uh watch, watch the ritual so it was really interesting mm. yeah and I also climb up yahiko mount mount yahiko mm -hmm. um i'm gonna post it on my social media so check it out it's super beautiful the roadway oh. okay so so in this morning you went to yahiko shrine so I stay at this ryokan called Minoya, mm -hmm. which is like one minute away from mm -hmm. uh, Yahiko Shrine. Mm -hmm. so it's really a convenient place, mm -hmm. and there is also an onsen ryokan. Mm -hmm. Ryokan means traditional Japanese hotel. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's my top mm -hmm. recommended place to stay in Yahiko Village. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw the dinner. So it's I, also very nice. Uh -huh. The dinner was. Dinner. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious how many of you are watching this uh, video are from Singapore. So do leave a comment to let me know where oh. you are from. Okay, so okay, should I go down? Down to the central valley of Momiji. Woo! Ooh. Park is just like dress in red color of the maples. Yeah. Everywhere oh. is a four thousand. Ah, right. So yeah. okay, this park yeah. is about. 40,000 uh, 40, square, square meter and there are actually 4,000 trees in this park and a lot of them are maple, maple trees so you could see like it's just red everywhere mm. in uh, autumn time. Mm -hmm. So Kaori also told me that um, Yahiko village is great for all season mm -hmm. because in spring you also mm -hmm. get cherry blossom. Yeah. And cherry blossom. Oh. And then in summertime, there is a lantern festival in July. 
Yeah. And then in winter time, of course, at the Mount Yahiko, you get some snow. So mm -hmm. it's really mm -hmm. a perfect place to visit all year round. Uh, all, all seasons. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, yesterday we were here, so we are going to bring you to my favorite spot <laughs> in Yahiko Park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's some Okay, let's Is it a huge park? Is it huge? Huge park? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's kind of huge, but um, it's really easy to walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there's a trail, you could follow the Momiji mm -hmm. and just go to the place that you like. Mm -hmm. There's just like a lot of spots here. For example, this tree is also super beautiful right now. Oh, super beautiful, yeah, literally. <laughs> so yeah, I recommend if you come to Yahiko, this is a must visit. And of course, Yahiko Shrine is one of my favorite shrines in Japan. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's... Like the, the moment you enter the Tori gate, you just you could just feel like a really a, amazing power. Yeah. And the air is like fresh and so beautiful. So you like the you know, at atmosphere at the shrine? Right. Um it, it has a very unique uh structure to it and not only a shrine. There is also a park where you could see some deers and mm. birds. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm. And there's even mm. like a manga or something. Sumo no. Uh, a, sumo a, a, wrestling. Yeah, sumo wrestling. Oh, sumo wrestling. A play. Mm. As well as you need, uh, uh, archery. Archery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this? Japanese traditional archery. Yeah. yeah. So it's Kudo. really not just. It's like so much traditional culture um, mm -hmm. concentrated in one spot. So, mm -hmm. my favorite spot. Okay. Mm -hmm. ah, so, we are almost here. So, yesterday at the light up, um, you could see like the reflection of the Momiji in this pond. Hmm. So yeah, in nighttime it's super beautiful. Oh. <laughs> so it must be beautiful in the night. Exactly. It, yeah, in nighttime. Uh. Yeah, okay, if you if you wanna see the Go to my Instagram account mm -hmm. at She's a Land because mm -hmm. uh, I posted a story last night, so you mm -hmm. could have a look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, if you have any questions to ask, you could always uh, leave a comment and if we have enough time, we will try to answer it. Okay. About culture or Yahiko village or Tsubame city. Okay, so huh? thank you Chiji-san Kaori-san for showing us beautiful automobiles. Uh, I, I, miss, <laughs> I miss it so much. <laughs> so now, uh, let's see the video uh, which Chiji san took yesterday at Tsubame Sanjo and Yahiko village. Tsubame Sanjo is famous for its metalworks. 
So let's get started the video. Singapore is very hot all the time, so you can use this to put your teh tare or Milo or whatever. <laughs> yeah, also 2700. Yeah. This is a sword dish made of waste material. It's for me, sir. So in Subhaman Sanjay, you get to see a lot of beautiful art made of steel and uh, some metal work and sometimes it's also like made of recycled uh, material. William. Wait, wait, no, put it here. Prince William's favorite Japanese sake. And as you know, uh, Niigata is super famous for its rice production, so of course the sake is also very uh, famous. So do you know that this is made in Zubame Sanjo? Yeah, no, it's called the sake. Okay. Okay, when you come to Zubame Sanjo, please look for Fukugao. Yeah, that's Prince William's favorite. Okay, okay, so right now, you know, we are all trying to reduce plastic, and uh, I just got a gift. This is a uh, metal, copper, metal, uh, steel. Ah, uh, stainless steel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a. Ah, no, no. Stainless steel. Titanium, titanium straw. And this is in, ja in Japan, they call it my straw, so it, it belongs only to me. And it's antibacterial, so I bring it anywhere. I have present for you. Thank you so much. Thank you, so much. Thank you. I really need this. Perfect. This is my straw. We have any kind of item from Tsubame Sanjo. Please enjoy your shopping. And um, at our store, we have uh, always we always have Indian speaker. So please feel free to ask any question. Please enjoy. <laughs> we have sanitizer. You can see it turns beautifully colored. 
just thought it was all white. Now it's blue and pink. This is so pretty! Beautiful! I like it. <laughs> Jelly is made of um, Japanese sake jelly, 
<laughs> we are at Tsubame Industrial <laughs> Material Museum and what I have in my hand is a steam cup mug and it's a uh, layer with copper. copper so I'm gonna hammer some patterns on it to make really beautifully aged mug like this and I've spent the past 15 minutes hammering 
And my arms are so sore. <laughs> so this is why some of the metal work in Tsubame Sanjo is kind of expensive because now I understand why because you really use your sweat and your blood to create this beautiful cup. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna introduce to you one by one. This is mm, our favorite hoji cha latte, hoji tea latte. And this one is a fruit sandwich. Um, it's a whole apple inside, like half cut apple inside with fresh cream. And this is onsen manju. This one is kind of interesting. It's called kimpira dango. It looks like a boiled egg. But inside there is actually um, stir-fried burdock and carrot, so it's sort of salty but sweet dessert, so I'm kind of curious how it tastes like. And this one, um, I want to explain to you. If you look closely, it's actually a shape of panda. So um, the story of this panda yaki is actually, it came from uh, Thai yaki or like ningyo yaki that you know from Asakusa or like some uh, other places. So uh, usually they use uh, wheat flour, but the people in Niigata was thinking whether they could use something local to produce it. So they thought about, uh, as you know, Niigata is famous for rice. So they used rice powder and made the dough. And then inside, they were also using local ingredients such as edamame. And in autumn time, we have the uh, kuri. They call it maron, which is a Japanese chestnut. So yeah, these are really recommended when you come to Yahikomura. So please try it out. Wow, it's like mochi. Wow, it's very very sticky. Ooh, look at that. So inside is the edamame paste. Oh, mm -hmm. it's really good. Like it has a slightly salty taste on the dough, and inside it's sweet edamame paste. And because I'm trying to go gluten free, so this is perfect because it's made of rice flour.
Hi, I'm back. Thank you for viewing our video. How's your impression? I hope you got really, really interested in Tsubame Sanjo and Yahiko Village. Okay, so let me introduce uh, about Niigata Prefecture. So let me explain how to get to Tsubame Sanjo and Yahiko Village. Niigata Prefecture is located in north of Tokyo and it will take two hours to get to Tsubame Sanjo by Shinkansen Super Express from Tokyo. Uh, these are a lot of interesting tourism places at Tsubame Sanjo which is famous for traditional metal works. So you can enjoy some metal work experience and shopping as well. And you saw nice Italian restaurant, right? This is Bit Restaurant, which serve Italian, uh, Italian dishes with full of local ingredients. And then you can go to Yahiko Station, Yahiko Village, by local JR train or car only for 30 minutes. Yahiko Village. Yahiko Village is famous for its natural sceneries and rural atmosphere. The village is quite compact, so you can enjoy to walk around and explore through Yahiko Shrine, Yahiko Park, and shops. And also take a ropeway up to Mount Yahiko. Okay, let me share some recommend places at Tsubame Sanjo and Yahiko Village. I'll show you some slides and QR codes, so if you are interested in, please visit their website. Okay, let me share. Okay, thank you for taking your time with us. Uh, I'll call Chidi san, Kaori san at Yasuko Park again. Wait a moment. Hi, Chidi san, Kaori san. It is at Yahiko Park right now, and I hope from Kokua san that most of you guys who are watching this live are from Southeast Asia, especially from. Mission Singapore, thank you so much for joining. Thank, thank you. you. For the question, when is the best season of autumn leaves? It's from November uh, middle 
early uh, uh, early November to middle of November. November. Of course, it depends mm -hmm. on the year as well. Like this yeah. year, it has actually been mm -hmm. a little mm -hmm. late, mm -hmm. but right now it's super beautiful mm -hmm. as you could see. Yeah. So in this area, it's mm -hmm. early, early November early to middle November. November. To... Late November? Middle? Middle. Middle, middle. November. Middle. So yeah. actually, the, so, the high season is one, one week or two weeks, right? Yeah, it's about like one week from now on. Mm -hmm. Two mm -hmm. weeks, two weeks. Two weeks. Peak oh. So right now we are in the beginning of the peak season. So it will last about another one week or two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so sure. Perfect timing. Mm -hmm. mm. Must be good there. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching our online event. We hope you could enjoy the autumn leaves from Yahiko Park and you will plan to come to Niigata, especially to Bomi Sanju and Yahiko area next time. And now we have wonderful gifts Yay! for you. Yay! Yay! This is ice cream spoon. And this is not just any spoon for ice cream. Uh, it's especially for frozen ice cream spoon. And this is made of aluminum and with high heat heat conductivity so once you hold the handle your body heat will conduct to the tip so you can scoop ice cream very easily so we hope you can enjoy the Tsubame Sanjay's technology at home so and it could be yours yeah <laughs> <laughs> and to apply please post your impression for this event and your passion for going to Niigata and we'll give away this Tsubame Sanja ice cream spoon to the three people uh, who tell us the passion, passionate, how passionate you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just tell us why you want to come to the mm -hmm. prefecture mm -hmm. and then is it to post a comment? Uh, yeah, about post, uh, post uh, actually, oh, uh, the oh, a Facebook timeline, post. timeline. Oh, yes. your timeline? Yeah, don't forget to use the hashtag Tsubame Sanjo. Yes, Tsubame Sanjo when you post and please make sure you Choose the privacy setting uh, public, mm -hmm. not private, public, please. And for more details, please check out our Facebook page. So if you can't catch up, no worries. Mm -hmm. Just go to uh, Niigata. Mm -hmm. Enjoy, Enjoy Niigata. Niigata yes. Facebook official yeah. Facebook page mm -hmm. and you can get all the details. Mm -hmm. How to get all this food. Yay. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. you. Yes. Thank you. So... Yeah. Uh, Chiji san, Hi. could you please uh, introduce about next event? Uh, okay, this is only my first ever event mm -hmm. and I think that it was quite successful uh, despite mm -hmm. the rain, a little bit rain, no mm -hmm. worries. Um, so, in mm -hmm. December 12th, yes. December 12th, we'll mm -hmm. be coming back to Niigata Prefecture again. It's going to a secret place, another place. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll reveal it, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to Niigata City yes. and I'll be also hosting a live session, a live tour in the city with you guys. So please tune in, um, same, uh, mm -hmm. same, the same mm -hmm. style. So mm -hmm. yeah, uh, bookmark your calendar, December 12th. I'll be updating mm -hmm. my social media as well mm -hmm. uh, at Niigata Picture again. Thank you. Thank you. So we will finish the online event. Yeah. Yep. Uh, thank you. Thank you for yeah. Well, thank you everyone. Thank you everything. For yeah, to join our event. See you next month again. <laughs> and that's only the second event. We we have another one coming up. I'll announce it yeah. again. Okay. <laughs> thank you. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. Some more yeah. momiji. Yeah, more momiji. <laughs> Since you can't come to Japan, this is mm -hmm. the chance to enjoy. Mm -hmm. yeah.